An entrepreneur in Malone is serving up thousands of bowls of his tasty homemade soup. They're selling at restaurants, cafeterias, and convenience stores across the North Country. Our Jack LeDuc this week takes a look at this growing business and their tasty recipes that soup lovers are eating up. Most days you can find Jim Collette of JC Soups in his Malone kitchen whipping up a new bisque, chowder, or any number of savory soups. We have close to, close to if not over 150 varieties. And a lot of those varieties, it, it could be, let's say, you know, you get uh, a, a chicken noodle. So we have a chicken and rice. And I got a chicken tomato and rice. We got chicken tomato macaroni. I have a lot, I have a lot of different varieties. The varieties that you go with are just adding different things, adding different spices. Last fall, Colette added another 30 soup varieties to his long list. He said that his customers are asking for even more, a request he was working to fulfill. The soup maker complies with New York State regulations. We did uh, uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Markets and uh, the USDA to determine who I would fall under regulations. And the way we ended up going was with the New York State Ag and Markets and that took about eight months to get the full license uh, New York State Department, or the New York State uh, Food Venture Center is the scientific um, part of the whole process where you have to send them your recipes, this and that, and then they give you the final go ahead. With state approval, JC Soups turned up the heat on his soup pots. And that's when uh, I made samples up, took them around, um, mostly here through the uh, through the Malone area, uh, and it just started to grow a little bit. People started to talk about it. Colette and his wife have spent much of their adult life in the food business. At work, they had to come up with tasty soups. That experience made their new venture easier for them. With our soups, you don't have to worry about seasoning. It's all ready to roll. That's why I tell a lot of people before, if they've never had it, I said, don't season it yet. Along with creating scores of frozen soups, the couple added As We Like It Cafe serving lunch. The cafe connects their soup making facility. But getting started was a struggle. Jim Khaled has been in business for six years and has expanded from a small 14 by 12 facility in his home to this 9,400 square foot facility. As time went on, soup sales began to heat up. Our first six years, we were working out of our, uh, out of our house, the process facility that we, that, that, that we, that we built onto our house. Um, and we worked out of there um, doing miraculous work because <laughs> the amount of soup that we were producing uh, grew from the first year of, say, $10,000 in sales, and, and then the second year grew to a little over $40,000 in sales, and by the end of the sixth year, we were up, we were up just below $100,000 in sales. Today, he sells a variety of frozen soups to St. Lawrence University, DNM sandwich shops, Alice Hyde Hospital, Speedway convenience stores, and many others. While the Malone Go Getter uses a lot of locally grown products, his plans could call for his own greenhouse to provide better control and access to the stocks he uses. All of this whirlwind of work is being done with just a half dozen talented employees. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Malone.